I think it's fair to say that this is a bit of a last-minute decision in some senses. There were people from Doncaster Rovers on local radio last night talking about uh, the manager, Sean O'Driscoll, and, and what a good job he was doing despite the poor start that the club's had to the season. Currently sitting right at the bottom of the championship table, just one point accrued from the season start so far. Despite all that, they've been saying that Sean O'Driscoll was safe in his position. Uh, I believe that the match programme for this weekend will e even contain a column uh, written by the chairman, John Ryan, which says much the same sort of thing. And yet here we are this morning with Dean Saunders on his way over to Doncaster Rovers um, to join up with the players today ahead of a game against Crystal Palace tomorrow, for which we now understand he'll be the manager, Sean O'Driscoll having been placed on gardening leave. So the decision does seem to have been taken fairly late on. I have spoken to a player at Doncaster Rovers this morning who knew nothing about this and described himself as being shocked at the way things had turned out, particularly perhaps at the timing. So uh, in the longer term, perhaps we shouldn't be shocked about anything given that poor Doncaster Rovers start to the season, but maybe it's caught everybody just a little bit unawares given the proximity of Doncaster's next fixture, an important one as well, against Crystal Palace. And they've got another home game to follow after that. So it did look like a good opportunity for Doncaster Rovers to really put points on the board this season, important points on the board. But Dean Saunders is the man, it appears, who will be leading them through that game and the next game and a number of games thereafter. In terms of Dean Saunders, uh, anyone who watched football in the 1990s will remember his exploits as a player for Derby and Villa, particularly scoring goals, and Liverpool, of course, and uh, plenty of cats for Wales. But, but what about his credentials as a coach, Bryn? Well, he's been working um, diligently in the background for quite a long time. Um, I mean, most recently, I know of his work very well because he's been manager of the club that I support, Wrexham. He's been there for the last three years or so, trying to get Wrexham out of the conference. And at the moment, if you look at the conference table, Wrexham are sitting in second position just behind Luton, having had a decent start to the season, although they lost the last couple of games. Um, but it's, it, that's the job he's been doing. That's his only management job so far, Dean Saunders. Prior to that, he was working with John Toshak as part of the Welsh coaching setup, but that was a part-time role. Um, and then prior to that, he was uh, often the assistant to Graham Souness. He travelled around with Graham Souness, worked at Newcastle with Graham Souness as his number two. So he has been working a way um, to get to the position where he was in place if a football league job or higher in, indeed came up. And so... I think given Wrexham's decent start to the season, the fact that he's been working on a very, very tight budget indeed, obviously at conference level, um, is probably put him in a good position for this Doncaster Rovers job. But it's a big jump from conference to championship management. I know Dean will be absolutely delighted to have this challenge ahead of him. I think it's just caught everybody just a little bit unaware. So um, he's been working hard at the coaching side of things. Now he's got a big opportunity to show what he can do at championship level.